All right, we have one more thing to talk about regarding the neuron, and that is another important vocabulary term, the myelin sheath. You're looking at another drawing of a neuron, and you know all of its, almost all of its parts right now. You know that the soma is the cell body. It contains the nucleus. There are dendrites branching off the soma. The long part is called the axon. And then you have the presynaptic terminal. When you look at this neuron, though, there's something different. And I've drawn the myelin sheath. The myelin sheath is actually white fatty tissue. I've drawn it as kind of a green color so you can see it better. But it's a white fatty tissue that covers portions of the axon of a myelinated axon. As you look at this drawing, you see that the myelin sheath is covering a portion of the axon on the left, and then there's a bare part of the axon, and then you have another portion of it covered by the myelin sheath and another bare part, and so on. There is a name for those bare parts of the axon, the nodes of Ranvier. It's one of my favorite vocabulary terms in the course. I love saying it. Nodes of Ranvier. It just sort of rolls off the tongue. At any rate, what the myelin sheath does is speed up the travel of the action potential along the axon. If you think about it, you know that action potentials with their refractory periods take about a millisecond. That means that your neurons can only fire at a thousand impulses per second without the myelin sheath. This is actually too slow for your nervous system to function. Just to put things into perspective, if you did take part in that caffeine reaction time experiment that we talked about for quiz one, then in general, your reaction time, when you see the word go on my computer screen and then hit the key on the keyboard as quickly as possible, that's going to be a half a second or less. So a thousand impulses per second or one millisecond in, in that context seems pretty fast. It certainly is faster than our reaction times. But in the context of all of your muscles working in a coordinated fashion while you walk or move, or all the neurons firing that are necessary when you think or speak, this would not be fast enough. And so we have myelinated axons for many of the neurons in our bodies. The myelin sheath blocks movement of ions in and out of the cell. So the only places that the action potential occurs on a myelinated axon would be at the nodes of Ranvier. And this speeds up the neural signal. To summarize, action potentials occur at the nodes of Ranvier for myelinated axons. What you may not know is that multiple sclerosis involves degeneration of the myelin sheath. It should make sense to you that if the myelin sheath is degenerating, some neural impulses are slowed down. And the first symptoms of multiple sclerosis involve uncoordinated motor movement. Of course, the disease can continue and progress until other body systems are affected as well. But again, multiple sclerosis involves degeneration of the myelin sheath. One final point here, a child's myelin sheath is not fully developed at birth. And the myelin sheath continues to develop after birth. And this is believed to affect the length of time it takes for a child to learn to walk.